There was something in me that was just fascinated by photography. And through uh, my younger years and into high school, I always had a camera. Fred and I met in high school. I was 15 and he was 16. I was the new girl. He has always had a camera in his hand. Fred is very outgoing and uh, he's a say-do kind of guy. You know, what he says he will do. He, he will go the second and third mile to get things done. Anyone that's willing to donate their services and donate their time um, to give back to police officers and the community, I mean, it says a lot about their character. It says a lot about how noble of an individual he is. Well, my dad's very personable. As much as I dislike it sometimes to, to my embarrassment, he is the center of the room more often than not when he gets into any conversation and he's very good at doing that. His jokes are terrible. You might, he might get you laughing from his jokes, but really, they're not that good. He can pretty much mold the perfect joke to almost any scenario. It's a new joke every time. It's not even a point of contention uh, really anymore. For me, it's just something that I, I just laugh with and you know go along with. Oh, Fred is fun. I like the way he does his raps at the uh, Chamber of Commerce. And so he started wrapping all of his commercials and our very dear friend Dennis O'Hagan is who one day in Lynx called Fred Mahusai the Asian sensation and it stuck. A, a gasp fell over the room uh, that someone would, you know, refer to me in, you know, in some ethnic, ethnic way. Um, and I mean, you, the tension was, was horrific. There was just so much, <gasps> and people looked at me and, you know, I, I've been Asian all my life. <laughs> so it doesn't, it doesn't phase me. And, you know, when he said the Asian sensation, I was like, all right. <laughs> When I take a picture, I mean, you, you, that moment in time has been captured. You know, I, there's, just, there's just something about that, being able to relive a moment that just, that just fires me up. Uh, to see his development as a person, as someone who truly, truly loves the person who's in front of him, he wants them to exude confidence to know that the picture truly captures who they are. That they don't need airbrushing, they don't need all of this extra post-production because who they are is enough. I feel the joy of the Lord when I have my camera. You know, there's, there's something about that moment when I meet someone and you know, I look at them and I think, man, you have worth and you have value. And you have, you know, chosen me to help capture that. When I think that, you know, God chose me for this, for this opportunity just to pour into other people's lives, to, to make a difference. I'm just thankful that I'm able to do what I do, that I can spend time with my wife, that I can spend time with our sons, that I can, you know, model for them what it means to, you know, to, to pursue your life passion, to make a life of something and not just exist. I get to pass the blessing that was given to me on to someone else. I know my dad does work very hard and you know it's it's very nice to see that he's finally getting recognized for some of that hard work. Late nights, little sleep, and a lot of perseverance. You know, it goes to show put in the time and the effort and you get the results. I would be lying if I said that my dad wasn't my 
one of my biggest role models, if not the biggest role model I have uh, in my life currently. My dad is um, one of the greatest men that, uh, that I know right now and have known ever throughout my entire life. And uh, his, his support for me over these um, last 21 years of my life have meant a lot to me. And that there is um, no way I could ever uh, hope to repay him for all that he's done for me. Wouldn't ask for anyone else. Truly, without the family, there would be no Fred shots. And I also understand that he said something about my jokes. And all I have to say is that, you know, as a photographer, I have this keen sense of interacting with people, and I do a lot of it through humor. He just can't picture it.